What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Hey, hi. How are ya? Hey, y'all. We are live. Pardon me while I put my hair up. Um, didn't realize that it had gotten so late in the evening. Thanks, B. I did. I said you look so adorable. Mm. Mm. Hey, hi, how are ya? Are y'all having an amazing day? You been busy today? What's the word? Bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is a bird. Y'all remember that song? Remember? You remember. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Are y'all having an awesome Monday? I mean, as far as Monday go. It should be cool. In terms of Mondayness, how has your Monday been? I'm so glad you're here, Tiffany. Hi, everyone. Mondayness? Monday. Monday, Monday. You were just watching the battle royale between me and Mike. That was the first time we met Mike and Mitch. What are you thinking over here, boy cat? Just in the window. Boy cat's hanging out in the window ledge, being a deer devil. I need a mixy yuppie. We have some over there. I'm scared. I'm scared about this one. You said you have some over here? What? Mixy uppy. Stir sticks? Yeah. That's the word. You're watching TikTok and laughing? I've been thinking about getting on TikTok, but I wasn't sure if you guys are TikTokers. TikTokers. That's the wrong button to hang out above. <laughs> you almost hit in stream for you guys. I feel like that is not enough. Really. Alright, so what are you going to do, babe? I'm going to try to do like an old school resin piece with the colors that you and Monkey used because I think they looked pretty awesome. Those were some pretty fun colors. But I'm scared because Y'all made them look so good, and um, well, there's orange involved. It has to be all in the same. You can't make a bunch of it, like I don't know. A bunch what that of means. several swipes. It has to be like a bunch of stuff on several. Yeah. No. Like you do with your when you come out with your leaves. I think I'm sure it'll look good. I'm just thinking. Hey y'all. Like it's it's together. Anyways, I'm using the colors that they used the other day. I'm gonna switch them over so they can see. I was gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna let you do the fade. Jacqueline, Tuesday mornings are fun. Hi, Donna Parker. I'm glad y'all are here. Catherine. Well, these are the Betty, colors. Everyone. Bethany. Mm -mm. Oh, you know, we haven't tried. Have we ever tried to turn this down 50% or does it do that? I don't know if it does that. Let me just... In memento. It doesn't do it. Huh. 
Oh, off on. Yeah, vinyl light's the only one that dims, apparently. Quail poop. So these are the colors that Jeff used the other day, and I think they're still listed. Um, no electricity sound. I can't, uh, let me see if I can, maybe I can overlay the ATD electricity logo. It, no, this one's working. It's the, switch that back. It's on the intro that there's no sound, which we know because we had to mute it because copyright. Oh yeah, yeah, we know that. Um, but. I love to like it, honey. Yay, it's our new, it's our new this. Well, this is all going to be changed next week. So hopefully well, probably by Thursday tomorrow. or Friday. No, we're gonna... Tuesday. We'll live early on Tuesday. Yeah. But 11 through 14, we're going to be not regular. Now, the electric sound isn't copyrighted. It's, or copywritten. Um, the sound that, that was, was on sound. that logo yeah. was <laughs> copywritten. And I... So our electric logo is the only one that has sound. But if we put the electric logo behind our new intro, maybe it'll play that sound during the new. I gotta, I'll fiddle with it. Who knows? I don't know. Will you hit edit on there and see if the the colors are still listed. All right. I am using Stone Coat Art Coat. It's my fave. It does all of the things and more. You can get it on our shop along with all these other colors. Artistsoulbeth.com. You can find it right there. Dun, dun, dun. So, will you hit edit and see if the colors are still listed? Oh. Sweet. Edit. Yeah, all the colors um, are listed uh, that she's going to use tonight. So many colors. So, you used Blue Sapphire by Just Resin. Spice Ginger by Resin Art, Violet by Just Resin, Magenta by Just Resin, and Passion Base. Hello from Delaware. Well, hello, cat. So I know that I've heard one other person talking about Parlor, but can you post videos or go live on there also with a rumble? Hi to the boys in the back, right? They're always back there. B, that's the only colors. White, yeah. magenta, violet, spice ginger, and sapphire. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna divvy up my resin into these cups, which will represent how much of each color I want in the piece. Okay, so I'm gonna do mostly white. Then my next main is probably gonna be. It was 80 degrees here too. It was 81, believe it or not. I was blown away. It was a nice day. I guess I'm gonna do even on all the rest of them. And I'm going to grease the pan with my white. Cool, cool, tight, tight, tight. Meow. Are these the stir sticks you just used? They don't have, they also have the backing on them. Mm -hmm. 
What's wrong with those? I don't have the patience to peel them. Why do you need to peel them? They've uh, already been no. used. So Have they? Yeah, I cleaned them off. Okay, well then leave them. All right, so first color is Blue Sapphire from Just Resin. It is a luster paste. It is opaque, it and it is beautiful. I just said it doesn't matter. It's so shiny. Check. Next one is Spice Ginger from Resin Art. This is a color I would not have used regularly on my own because me and orange colors don't jive well, but it looked really good when Jeff used it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. This is a dry paste, so unlike other powders, it's not gonna kick up in your face, and it is more pigmented, but I still overload my powders. I don't know if it's habit at this point, but it's become a rule in my in my brain thinkings. Next color is a violet from Just Resin. This color is slightly uh, translucent. It is also fluorescent, so it'll glow under a black light. You can see it's thinner than that um, blue sapphire that we used a second ago. It's actually a lot prettier than it is on camera. You know, and I turn down a little bit, like... It looks a bit dull up there. No, I know, yeah. This looks more like plum on camera, but it's got more of a pinky hue to it. Jeff is fiddling with the color. I'm trying to make it a true, but it's just not... I don't want to do that. But in the true color videos, you'll see how pretty that color is. Next one is Magenta by Just Resin. This is also slightly translucent, which means you can almost see through it, kind of, but not really. You can kind of see on the side of the jar right there, you can see through it. So it's clay. I know, it looks kind of orangey ready on there. Yeah, that's, I wonder if we just need to swap out those colors. I don't know what swap out the colors means. Or swap out the cameras. Yeah, possibly. And the last color we're mixing up is Uh, passion white. base white. This is going to be what gives us our big pretty cells. I don't know if I put enough in there to make it okay, but we're going to play it by ear till then. Thank you guys for all of your thumbs. That looks pretty true. Yeah. the spiced ginger. Such a nice color. And I'm glad you used it because I was scared to use it basically ever. This one is the blue sapphire. Also a super nice color. Yeah, this magenta looks like terracotta. Yeah. I there's no... Color in there. This one's a little bit more on the purple side. See how you can just barely see through it? on the stir stick. Translucent. And then Jeff mixed up our violet. And 
It looks better on that camera by far. That's not the issue camera, it's this one. So now we gotta mix up our base, which again is going to be what gives us all our pretty cells. I hope I made enough white now that I'm looking around. This may end up being a full coverage piece. And when using a base tint, you wanna make sure that you have just enough white to make it opaque without really oversaturating your resin with the pigment because if you put too much of it in there, your cells will grow forever and ever and ever and just look horrible. Right. We got a fainter. I love that color. <laughs> Get back up, Nene. We need you. I'm switching my gloves out because the piece is going to be white and I don't want to transfer any color that I had on my gloves to anything on the piece. Thank you, Donna Parker. Sherry, what is that, Fafart? Hi, what's, Sherry. That's a new name. Is that a new name or is that you know mm. that name? Welcome, Sherry. That's a, I'm not familiar with that name, so I'm going to Welcome you. Welcome you. Don't want these to get dirty. All right, I'm gonna start by adding my this. And if I can't get full coverage with it, then I'm going to make breaks in my coverage and fill in with the other colors. Because sometimes you just work with what you got. And honestly, you really can't plan too much ahead with resin. Because a resin is going to resin. <laughs> Looks like we'll be fine. You don't want this grease layer to be too thin, but if it is a little bit thin, it's fine, because you're adding a whole bunch of other colors anyways, and you really don't want it to go over an eighth inch thick of resin once it self-levels anyways. Also, we sent out a bunch of the class kits for the fire class today. Have you ordered yours yet? I hope so. Okay. Hi, Judy James in Wichita. Judy James in Wichita. Oh, Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, yeah, that is a kitty scratch. Hmm. Okay, so do I want to do a Pepsi one or just a messy one? I like Pepsi one, especially with these colors. You want to keep them kind of solid and together. So the orange looks really good next to the, um, those. I wish I had enough white left to put through here. So I'm just gonna drizzle some white in and about About this to swipe over to kind of give our cells a little bit more dimension. All right. All right. Put some heat on it and get going. Sorry about that ruckus. Um, yeah, what, uh, cat, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of resin are you using? Um, 
and one thing that you possibly could do is try to uh, pour uh, pour your resin out in individual smaller cups like if you're gonna have a, a, a couple different colors like she had done there if, if they're in smaller cups then you won't uh, it shouldn't heat up as fast but depending on your work time as well your work time might be slow so Um, we sell a, uh, a two hour, possibly two and a half, three hour, uh, resin called Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. That's what she's using right here. It's pretty amazing. And you can, like I said, you can, you can work with it for, for at least two hours. What? Okay. Well, it was too blank down there, and now I think I really like what the purple looks like going over all of it. Yeah, and what kind of uh, pigments are you mixing in with it? I'm going to put some more purple. Can you thin it out again? Uh, no, you can't thin it out. Once it's set up, it's set up. Sometimes adding too much. I've heard some people putting like a couple drops of alcohol to thin it out, but I haven't tried it personally, so I can't vouch firsthand on it. Um, yeah, and are you are you using? Yeah, she's using forty five minute working time. Um, it really depends on too the temperature in your home. Um, and if you're using acrylic paints or actual resin pigments. If you put just a little bit too much acrylic paint in there, it'll, it'll set it right off. That, what is that? Magenta and the words, words are hard. Spiced ginger together makes this like ruby color. Because it's transparent. It's awesome. So rainbowy. Start in on this side, and then we'll finish out that top area. So I always pull towards myself, by the way. Pouring, pouring, pulling away from you is risky business. And so is, how is the case going? It's good, we have one done, I just have to do the other one. Ugh, not like in the end of that one. See that little hesitation? It's called uh, Art Coat. I'm gonna try to clean it up. Yeah, we, we have quite a few different uh, pigment colors. Um, we, we sell a lot of stuff on our website. <laughs> it's a, basically a one-stop resin shop. to pull partially into this side so it doesn't have just a 50-50 part 
if I were to start in the purple on both sides, it would, to me, look horrible. Also, I'm noticing that I added a little bit too much of the base white in my piece, and I can show you why in a moment. That glare is going to be a lot on this side. So see right here how it's a little fuzzy around the outside of the white? That is from adding too much base white. Sorry for all the camera movement. I'm just trying to get the best angle and... I think I'm moving too fast. I'm getting a skip. Skip, 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 skip. I feel like it's too much like orange on this side and like warm and then cool. So I may have to swipe through on a couple of these. But like Jeff said, it's a long working time resin, so I have a lot to play with in terms of working time. That one looks pretty. Okay. So now I have the basic look of the piece and I can evaluate where I need to amend it and whether I want to make any adjustments since most of what's down here is, oops, since most of what's down here is blue and most of what is up here is red or cool and warm. What do you guys think? Should I pull one color? Should I pull some of this through this? Should I pull some of this through this and vice versa? Or leave it as like ocean and sunset. <clears throat> oh, it is like fire and ice. Dichotomy is such a good word. Kat, is there something I missed that I can assist? I'm not mad at the motion. The cells are soft enough. The Ottoman art piece can be ready to see soon. The Glitterama piece? Um, yeah, we're gonna do another layer on it, but of course, we'll be showing you guys. I think I'm just gonna pull a little bit I'm not going to fully incorporate the colors across the board. I'm just going to just do little things. Mini swipes, if you will. Well, that blue didn't pull very far. I may have to do dip swipes. But I like that layered swipe look. When people ask, what's the difference in a powder and a paste? Where are you? You're over here. That's something that is special to powders that you really don't get with paste that... Mm. See how it looks kind of outlined? Nope. Right here. Where it... Like the orange has like that outliney shadowy part. 
I would show you more like this. Oh, I guess I could do that. So there's like that highlight coming off the outside. That's from moving the particles of the powder pigment. around stop before they mud right always happy to help cat so I'm not gonna do a lot of those and since I didn't add really any heat to this I'm not really concerned about mud at this time because they're still such thick colors. It's when you add a lot of heat or you start with a thinner resin that that's really a concern. Do a moon. Vicki, that would be an awesome, awesome thing for Jeff to do. Unfortunately, I don't think I could pull that off. If I could pull you guys just over my shoulder. Nope. Is that bad gum light's gonna shine? But I just pulled where am I? Where are you? I just pulled this blue out a little bit right here. And so I'm just gonna do a couple of those and I'm gonna call it. Hey Clara. Long time no see. I just had to give you a little crap. I know you got life. Okay, Moose. You guys already in the mix, like, use me. Moose. Y'all, I promise I'm not yelling at my sickly puppy. He's doing it on purpose. As you can see by the fact that he stops when I say this. All I need is pita. A pink and purple piece? Um. We've done a pink and purple piece, I thought. In every color imaginable. <laughs> so these colors just aren't pulling through to the other side very well, so I'm going to do a dip swipe. And that is just when you put a little bit of a color on a swipey paper and pull that through. You have to let it set there for a little bit of time so it can soak in with the other colors. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. What's your t-shirt mean? I wore this yesterday too. It is from a TV show. Anybody know the TV show? If you were in class yesterday, you probably know. Yes, shading is exactly that. Right? I just need to... And now heat it up and super tilt. <gasps> what? Yeah. Should I super tilt it? We have 200 of those things that look like that. You know what? It's like, I, I guess I never understood. Like, it looks fun when you do that, and then you start doing this, and then there's nowhere else to go. And then it looks like it, it's stumped. That's, I guess, that's what I'm... Like, and it's such a wide piece. What's the matter? 
I'm, I'm listening to you and... No. I was just... I, I, I was kidding. Um... <sighs> Gotta keep the man happy, ladies. No, I don't want you to do... Don't. Don't do a super tilt. I don't... I was just kidding. What do you... I want to see what it looks like, too. Uh, I told you. That's why I said to keep it together, because it doesn't look good if it's, like, spread out. You have to, like... Well, I didn't know what keep, keep it, together it together means. We can make it beautiful. I have plenty of... Plenty of resin left. And because when I was pulling the colors through, they weren't really doing anything or picking up, I could tell that they were just laid on a little too thick. So, hey Vamp. I'm trying to only hit the heat down here where the white is so that it doesn't get muddy. I don't want to put heat right here because like we were talking about earlier, that's when you run into issues. I want to see what, uh, I want to see what this camera looks like with the, with the, uh, these colors. Does that look more? I'm trying to catch some of this white so I can use it. It looks different than that. Okay, I want to get two more of these cameras. More what cameras? Okay. These, these are the, this is like a good color. See you. Uh, it's almost done, y'all. I guess I could be tilting it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. See, it looks different on that camera. The colors are basically true on that camera. That's what I'm saying. You go, but these cameras are more expensive now. That that particular one. What is that? This is. I don't know. FL. Slowly but oh, surely. It's, it is the 30E. They would make pretty coasters. Jeff made um, 10 coasters. I could add heat to this and make it move faster, but I don't want to thin it out and cause the blue and orange to mix together and make. And then sometimes if you heat it up too much, if you're super, super tilting, it starts to do that individual runs, those little drips that aren't cohesive with all the other smooth drips. That looks so awesome. That's so fun. I need this. I'm not digging the bottom part or the top part. Oops. I'm just tilting off the areas that I'm not really digging. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side.
just says, that's stunning. That's better. Yeah, Claire, we had, it was fun. It was, it was Monkey's first time uh, messing with resin, so she had, like, you know, she wasn't intimidated or afraid to do anything. Like, that's why I think she just had fun. A lot of people get too uh, worked up and think about it too much. She had no idea what was going on, so she, she had no worries. I think I like this piece where it's at. I'm going to take it to the desk for the DFZ. So, um, by next Tuesday, um, what is it? yeah, by next Tuesday is the 17th, all this area is going to be rotated, not 90 degrees, um, and then we're going to have a backdrop. It'll be a little different, a little bit more cleaned up, and I'm gonna have a uh, my first art cast uh, with my friend Mark Burke. He was here for our artist sessions, um, and it's basically just gonna be a couple artists, me and Erica and Mark, just hanging out, talking about art. I'm just gonna basically interview them without them knowing <laughs> gonna pick their brains yeah about them their process like just just kind of start from the beginning and, and we're just gonna be like doodling um, and I would like to I'd like to do that at least once a month with different artists it's gonna be interesting. okay it's gonna be amazing I'm going to smush them. Ah, a smush always works. Um, so I wanted a, a, a little different look for the background and, and make it a little bit more uh, artist friendly for, for people to hang out. Uh, right now it just seems a little cluttered. Um, hey, we're just destined to be cluttered. We're out of space. Yeah. Do you have any light? I collected a little bit from the runoff, so. Yes, question mark? I don't know where that is. Right. Wow. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna maneuver this around first. I was gonna say. I'm not trying to mix anything. I'm just filling in, filling the holes. Have you all started Christmas shopping yet? You know I can't. What I think I want to do is change that light. Be the only one that's been thinking about it and also not done it at all whatsoever. What? Oh, you know why? Because this light is plugged into a, a socket. Oh, it, it, I thought it was a. Um, gotcha. Yeah. This looks really bad right now, but hear me out. Mm -hmm. It looks fun. I like that hard swipe. But... Yeah, the, the whole having the artists over and, you know, having two or three artists in, in one room and not having any music and people can't cuss and <laughs> I'm not saying cussing is cool or anything, but 
people do curse, and and uh, we don't want to restrict anybody from uh, how they how they do their artwork, how they talk about things, how they talk about their life, and and all that kind of fun stuff. So it will be a and we can't have music, and, and it's it's not a it's not a fun fun thing when you can't have music and you're doing artwork with a bunch of people. So will be a be advised. I don't think I grabbed the heat gun with sticky hands yet, but oh, of course you have. Okay. Do you need to? I just need to put a little heat on it. Just a little some some. Can mm -hmm. I color over cured resin with mica powder? How would you color with mica? Basically, yes. You can put anything over cured resin, but I don't know. So, yes. Bye, JJ. Later, yay, yay. Dr. Resin, great name, by the way, Resin MD. It is called Spice Ginger by Resin Art. You can find a link to it down in the description box below this video, which will take you to this website, artistilldeath.com. That's us. Um, purchasing from us helps to fund our, our channel. Okay, so we got it down. I'm gonna do like a quarter turn. Do you have a glove on? Mm hmm one, do I need two? It's gonna be too late. Just peel it. Do it. Make it do. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I have enough on here to smush another one into it. I feel like Otherwise, it's, it's just gonna blur off. I have one of these. I have one of our uh, acrylic coasters with a paper on it. But I want to peel it like this. Like, whoosh. So, oh, yeah. will you put a glove on and help me to peel off it? Gotcha, Megan. Which one? All right. Okay, so we're going to put it on there. Let's squish out the sides. All right. I don't want to. Oh my gosh! I can't get a hold of it. <gasps> I can't hold on to it. Okay. You're you're trying to like do something that is not possible. <laughs> So fun, you're gonna put a, that in there. Go ahead. Well, there's it's a lot of resin It's not fun enough to there. keep it alive. Any brand suggestions? I mean, it's by Resin Art. Oh, like a mandala. Yeah, I use Posca pens. Put it down, because I don't wanna bring that in. Hands. Yeah, that one looks really nice, Megan. So, will you hit this one with a little bit of heat? Because I want to take it and just put it up before anything happens to it. It looks like those old-timey marbles that we used to play with. It's so dark in here. It's so funny. It's not, it, it's not dark, but, gloves, but I will look them up for you guys. I think it's just because we have too much light. I'm gonna change this light bulb out. What I'm gonna do? What is you heat it and then smush it? Oh, what is you heat it and smush it? Um, I will check out those, um, silicone gloves. I'll 
full swipe. So the one Jeff's holding. Um, he just stuck something in it. Is it still your cup of tea, Sue? Where are you? You could swipe that and it would look cool. Well, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, he just stuffed it. Well. We need to hit it with heat anyway. Yeah. We don't have any rags. Well, there's a stack of rags right there. Okay, Cujo. Think I should swipe it? I want you to get burned so I can do that again. Didn't let it sit for long enough. Re-swipe. Could you relax? hate these colors getting all muddy together though. I really would have um, assumed yeah. a lot worse. I'm pretty sure I have your email, Bowie. Hey Pamela. Alright, I'm going to take these and put them up. Word. Whew. That was fun. I have to say, I think you won though with your these. Well, I didn't know there was a contest. Is that what you were trying to do? Always oh, a contest. I wasn't trying to beat you. I was just trying to make the colors also look good. Mm. These win. I see. Next time I'll try harder. Oh. Oh. Um. Cat, thank you for joining us. Thanks all of you guys for joining us. Um, we go live every day, Cat. Hope to see you again. Move. Come on. Come on. You can get these sticks on our website if you guys want to use some reusable sticks. Stir sticks. They come in moo size, small, medium, large, and extra large. Wipe What's up, ideas? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, boys. Everyone says hi to you. Hey, big kids. <laughs> so, you guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. I hope you were informed about something. Probably nothing new, but... You learned a little bit of something, something. Um, check us out on our other social medias. You'll find them all over here. And we will see you guys tomorrow for the 2 o'clock Tuesday. 2 o'clock Tuesdays. Central time. Um, something. I have no idea what we're going to do for the live, but I hope oh, to see you all Oh, spray paint here. caps. Never mind. It will be a spray paint. Spray paint caps tutorial. He's going to show you different kinds, how to use them, best uses, etc. Yeah.
Are you gonna do anything? Not nothing with resin, but you can use spray paint with resin. But tomorrow will not be a resin day. It'll be spray paint cap day. And also tacos tomorrow. Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So you guys take care of each other. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. Subscribe, like, share with everybody you know. We'll and see remember, you. we're gonna start doing this. And remember. And then I want people to say it with us. We do the test so you don't have to. It's like a bad QVC. It is. But well, what are you going to do? Bye. Say bye. <laughs>